Okay, the first part of putting the clasp on is stringing the French wire over the needle and then you want to string the jump ring of the section that you're going to attach this strand to. So you have the French wire on the needle and the jump ring attaching the clasp. You pull the needle through and now because this is a right angle weave technique with two needles you need to take the second needle and insert it in the other end of the French wire and run it through and make sure that the clasp is on the French wire when you do that. So you pull this needle through. Now you just pull the thread down and you see how it closes. You'll bring each needle through the top berry bead in the direction when it comes out of the French wire. So this one's going to go through that way. And the other needle is going to come through into here and you're going to pull the thread tight and this will bring the French wire together and help set the tension for the last clasp or berry bead cluster. Okay, here you can see the clasp and here is the jump ring that connects the clasp to the French wire and here is the top berry bead cluster and I am working my thread down through the strand just like I worked it when I came up but this time I'm working it through to make sure it's secure and set the tension and tie it off so that I don't have any issues with it falling apart. When I'm working the thread down through the piece in preparation for tying it off I bring the thread down and come up the other way so that the both threads come out and meet at a spot where I can tie both threads together making a more secure knot and um, avoiding having to do one knot on one side of the strand and another knot on the other side of the strand with the two loose ends. This way I can tie both ends off together. I do a surgeon's knot and then once the knot is completed I'll use a thread burner to trim the excess thread. Now the thread burner is a unique tool. It has a heating element here and the elements have a wire that crosses between them. When you press the lever it heats up and you can see that the needle gets very hot very quickly so you want to be careful don't touch it. It might smoke a little bit so now you get your thread that needs to be burned down and you can see wisps of smoke maybe if you can pick them up I'm not sure but there. You burn it down and then for safety I'll touch it with a dab of GS Hypo Cement just to make sure that that knot holds. Now do the same technique with the other end to attach the other end of the clasp. Now you'll need to be careful that you attach the clasp in the right direction because this is a slide clasp it's very specific that it has to go on in a certain way. So if the end of the clasp, and you can see the end here with the the bevel end there, is in this direction on this end, it needs to be in the opposite direction on the other. Okay, now that both needles are threaded, you're going to start further down the bracelet. I usually like to start about this far down just so I have enough room coming up to the French wire to make sure that it's established. So now you center the thread in the bracelet and then you just work your way up the bracelet like you did when you first did the beads. So we'll go through the berry bead and the tilla and come out the other berry bead and then you'll come through crossing over this berry bead and then you'll take the other thread 
and do the same thing. Come up through the berry bead and the tilla and then come out the other berry bead. Sometimes you come out outside the berry bead. You want to make sure you get the needle in the berry bead and then bring that through and then you'll run that through the same berry bead in the opposite direction so you are creating your right angle weave variation. There. So now the thread is anchored and you can work your way up through the rest of the bracelet to the end so that we can attach the second length of fire our French wire. Okay, I've worked my two needles up through the end of the bracelet. Now I'm going to go through the top berry bead to make sure that I'm attaching my French wire from the very top bead. Go through in the opposite direction with each needle. So now I have the end ready for the French wire. The needle into the French wire like that. And then because I did the clasp, this strand on the first end of the clasp down here, I'm going to do this on the first one on the clasp without the, the, the edge there because that way the clasp will be able to close. So I pick the right jump ring and I put the clasp on and it's on the French wire on the jump ring and again that's the ring closest to the other edge so that the clasp will work and I'll run the needle through and now I'll take the second needle because this is a two needle process take the second needle and run it through the French wire and make sure that the clasp is on the French wire. So hold the French wire and pull the needle through. So now just tighten the needles and bring it down. Now to secure the French wire you'll have to come down through the top berry bead with each needle. And there's the first one and there's the second one. And you just pull both needles apart and there. I've tied off the second end so now I have one complete strip with the attached clasp at one end and the attached clasp at the other end. So now I'll make a second strand just like I did the first one and attach it to the remaining jump rings on the clasp and the bracelet will be done. I finished the second strand and attached it to the clasp. And the slide clasp works quite easily. You can see, if I get the light just right, there's a, sl a slit there. And when you close the clasp, that slit goes over the connectors there for the jump rings. So you just slide it on. And there it is. A garnet tilla gold-plated berry bead bracelet for January.